Good morning, everyone. This is your favorite MS4 coordinator, Rick Brown. And remember, only you folks can help us keep our, keep our stormwater clean. And today, it's a little bit uh, unusual to have this kind of an approach, but it, not when we go out and do educational things here with our kitties and stuff like that. Today is going to be more of an educational approach or ideas of how you can kind of develop your own little stormwater protection plan and your own properties. Maybe the stormwater approach for you, some things would work for you. Maybe not all things will, but some things will work for you. And so today's is just more of like an information, we're throwing out information about all the little things you can do to help keep your stormwater clean. And just imagine if you're doing it, your neighbor's doing it, your other neighbor's doing it, next thing you know, we got a lot of neighbors doing it. And that's kind of the education process of keeping our stormwater clean as we can. And everybody kind of have a little bit, little bit involvement in that. The first one I want to talk about is uh, more of an urban setting uh, where they make products that you can roll out in um, swales and that type of stuff so the swales don't get all the dirt and all that kind of stuff and it, we protect the swales because that's where the water's running like little tiny ditches. So one of the things is even in front of your home could be an urban protection. The other thing that you may have is you may have a little stream in the back of your property or on the side of your property or a little ditch or that type of thing. So that's another thing that we're going to be talking about, about ways to keep that clean. The, the next one hits a little more home, I suppose to speak, as you in your residence and where you live, is taking the rainwater uh, that comes down on the roof and um, actually kind of cultivating it where it comes down to downspouts, it doesn't come down to downspouts and run all over the ground. It goes into stormwater, barrels, that kind of stuff, collection systems, where you're more cultivating that water and using it for a good purpose rather than it just splashing off and running off. And now another one is a more of a kind of a commercial a best management practice. Uh, and when I say BMPs, uh, you all need to know that that's called the best management practice. Just ways of harvesting our water or protecting our water. Best management practices. And so now when I'm also talking about the BMPs, uh, I'm kind of talking to you folks out there. Only you can help us keep our stormwater clean. But these best management practices are maybe things that you can do at your home, around your home, or out into the commercial setting as well. And so some examples of a best management practice at home our, we have our little boxes that, that we give away to collect grease by your sink. We have, uh, and we've done a video recently on rain gardens and the rain barrels that you could use that water, harvest that water to put it in your rain gardens. And then there's also other things that you can help with in the community, uh, community cleanup, that type of thing. And when I talk about cleanup, uh, you could call uh, the solid waste here. You could call the Purdue folks. You could you could call SWCD. You could call MS4. Quite often we have little things going on where you could join, or you could you and your neighbors could join and, and have walk around. If you live near the lake, you could pick all the papers up. Remember when when you're doing your fertilization around the waters, the lakes and stuff. You want that middle number. Know your numbers. You want that middle number to be as close to zero as possible because that's phosphorus. We don't want phosphorus. It's great for growing grass, but it's not great for lakes. So these are just little samples of how we can kind of team up and do things. The first one is, if you look real close, you'll be able to see that they're laying some a best management practice. They're, they're, they're laying down these mats in this little swale that's been created and it says urban stormwater retrofits. Well, what does a retrofit? Well, a retrofit is changing something or doing it different. They're, they're leaving the swale that's all been created by water and it's all bare and blah, blah, blah. And that's gonna create sand. Water's gonna pull that sediment and stuff along. So what they're doing is they're putting these retrofits in here, which are nothing more than erosion control blankets. Uh, you've seen them all over. Contractors use them. You see the yellow things on the uh, around the buildings and stuff like that. Rain hits it, and it doesn't splash. So well, they're doing kind of the same thing here. They're going to use that gully to their advantage, but.
but they're putting mats down to help all this raindrop explosions. As an example, the second is stormwater riparian restoration. This is where you have a lake or you have a stream and you're just going to go down, you and your, and your friends, you're going to go down and you're going to kind of pick out all the papers and pick out all the yucky stuff and just try to keep the banks nice. So that it's just cleaning up around the waterway. All right. The third one is disconnection programs from your roofs. And if you look real close, you'll be able to see that they've disconnected, but they're taking the water into an area where they've got some stones, they got malts, they got flowers or whatever that is that's coming up there. And they've taken that very same water and they're kind of using it as a moisture and water area to beautify their own property. Rather than all that water coming out and making a yucky mess and having all that, they're actually using it to keep the vegetation that they're growing watered. So it's really a nice way of, of around your house or around a commercial buildings to make it really, really look nice. And you can put different colored mulch in it and stuff and it's really cool. All right, now the next one is a, um, this is a municipal site where they're taking the facilities, they're cleaning them up, they're putting um, mats down again to stop all those rain explosions when raindrop hits. If you've ever seen it, and you probably have, almost everybody's seen it a bunch of times in their life, it's just a lot of people don't really care. But watch when you see a raindrop hit, like the dirt, and then watch what comes up. You'd be surprised how much stuff comes up and it loosens and then it runs off. But when you use these blankets, the raindrop doesn't get that explosion effect. It stops and then that water can be used to help grow things and stuff. These blankets really help. So the next thing is um, redesigning things. So there's ways you can redesign and plant different things in because you may have a hill, you may have runoff, you may, you want to take that grade and you want to use it to your advantage of planting different things to slow that water speed down. You guys have heard me say, say a million times that water goes from high to low and when it goes it's going to pick things up. So what you can do there is slow that water down and you can also plant pine trees, you can plant various things to beautify it and it's going to slow that water down. Now, last but not least is the person here that's planting what's like tomatoes and flowers and that kind of stuff. Well, that's also an area where you can beautify it like a rain garden by your house. And you put these in and all those raindrops will, will stay in that area. They're not going to run off. It's not going to be muddy and yucky anymore. And you're going to enhance your own property because it's really going to look beautiful. These are just samples of little things that we can do. Remember that only you folks can help us keep our stormwater clean. And for new time viewers, uh, that kind of thing, be sure to hit the little red button and become, become a subscriber to our service. You and you can help us keep our stormwater clean. Thank you very much.